Well, what happens if you don't balance your checkbook and end up spending more than you make? You might be like the young man who seemed a little shocked when the bank called and told him his account was overdrawn. He said, that can't be. I still have checks in my checkbook. <laughs> you don't get to spend money you don't have. And states can't either. When I was a governor, we had to balance our budget by law. We weren't allowed to spend it if we didn't have it. Now, Congress, that's a whole other story. Some people go over their budgets constantly just to stay in the black. Congress just goes over and over and over again and again and again. They don't have to balance their budget, and they don't. They just keep spending and borrowing and then passing the responsibility on to future generations. One reason that I support a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution is that it would force Congress to live like you do. They couldn't spend money they don't have, and they couldn't borrow money they can't afford to pay back. You know, the way I see it, if it's good enough for you, it ought to be good enough for Congress. And that is a wrap.